What I always try and do is design something that that really becomes a part of you, that you live in and you're comfortable with, and something that you can wear every day to any occasion. In the early days, we had a house in Fire Island, and the first time I, I was making jewelry and I had a little red wagon, and my boyfriend at the time, who's my husband now, he made the display and we put all the jewelry out on the red wagon and I brought it into town with my Irish setter and I sat there all day and I sold everything. That was kind of the beginning. I'm inspired by different things, whether I've traveled to different places or architecture or nature or fashion or what's going on in the world. And then I get to a point where I'm dreaming designs. I'm literally dreaming designs. And I wake up in the morning and I have a design. That actually happens. With me personally, when I really labor over something and it's like my heart and soul, my guts, you know, I just put everything in it. And if I really, really love it, and I don't really care if anybody likes it or not, those are always my best pieces. A lot of the jewelers that I work with now that have their own stores, we kind of started out together, so I've known some of them for like 20 years. When I go to Tivoli, I feel like I'm home. I feel like it's my second home. <laughs>